I look at projects, how they start and how they work their way through the process and then how they finish, they all have a unique character. And this one has had a very unique character. Lots of people have worked so many hours, so many years to be able to get to this point. So it's exciting to be here. Even though my business is here and I represent this area in the legislature, at certain times of the year, I would just loathe coming over here. I'm actually kind of avoid the area because it was so hard to get around. Uh, and to look behind me now and see the changes that have occurred and what a great uh, opportunity we now have for this part of our state. As a lawmaker, we spend a lot of time kind of fretting about uh, how we use taxpayer dollars. But uh, as I think about the great work that UDOT does and the collaboration with Layton City, uh, it gives me a lot of confidence that we're making great investment decisions. It's not about an I or it's not about a me, it's about a we. And this project could not have taken place without most of the people that are here today. It's not about an individual, it's about a group of people coming together to try to make things work. I think that um, there's a few of those that are still questioning whether the through turns are going to work in that, but I think as time goes by, I think everyone's going to find that this is absolutely a wonderful project, and I won't be surprised to see that in the future, this becomes a model for other places in the state to be able to move traffic through. Cammy's going to place a dollar bill that rep represents the economic drivers that this quarter means to Davis County and Layton City. We have a time sa a piece here to really represent the time savings that this project will mean to all those that travel through the project now and into the future. A keystone. The keystone really represents the support that's needed from all the stakeholders, the legislature, the cities, the county, and everyone who made this project a reality. We've got some photos here of the past to help remind us really of where we've been and the journey it takes to be able to accomplish something of this magnitude so that those in the future will be able to see where we've come from, where we are today. It's been amazing to watch how little interruption there has been for those of us that uh, use this on a regular basis. I live probably not much over a mile from here as the crow flies, and this is an interchange of choice, uh, except if I'm going south, I use the park lane. But to adopt the new practices you have of being able to roll these bridges in place, and the, the, when you stop and think about this, I don't think you'd have to go back very many years, and this would have been a lot longer project than it has been here in Layton City. We have probably the busiest interchange in the state, and we not only are willing and, and ready to, to handle the existing traffic, but I think we're ready, willing, and able to handle the new, the new people that come, the new trips, and the new visitors to the community.